Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to make the taskbar I used in um, my fake OS. I'm going to do it in Visual Basic. So first we are going to add a menu strip to it. And then we are going to go to the properties. And we are going to set dock to bottom. So we there make this a bit smaller and I'm going to rename it to task bar so I'm going to type here start um, applications and then here um, test or something and then I'm going to double click it Integer zero. This is just to give it a better name. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a folder to put all the items in. Toastbar stuff. Um, I'm going to add a class. Call it Toastbar Item, which inherits from um, menu strip two strip menu item this one public sub new and in here you want to type um, by value by value text as string um, we need a icon to show on it, so by value image as image and by value form as form just to have a um, link with it um, private with events to um, close item this is the item you can click to close as tool strip menu item and again private with events um, restore item as tool strip menu item um, so this one is going to be for the, uh, when you want to close it and this one is going to be when you restore it to the previous size so now you can do my base dot new and here you can see it gives you like text so we're going to set text we're going to set the image and it doesn't have a form so behind that private form as um, form as form okay so now I'm going to set it to this one and now I'm going to add the handler for close item dot um, click And this is going to be a private sub close click by value um, sender as objects by value es event arcs. Copy this and rename it to um, restore. I'm going to copy this, paste it here, and now you can just type here address of 
and close click and here address of restore click so that's all pretty good now close click is going to be me dot parents um, yes dot items dot remove me and then um, if is no it's nothing form if not is nothing form then form dot close and restore will be if form dot um, states window states equals minimized then we are going to set the form dot window state to normal and form dot visible true um, behind here you can set things to like show it again so to activate it but I'm not going to do that now so what do we need now um, okay we need to add one more thing a class I'm going to call it um, task form dot pb inherits form um, public sub new I'm going to set it by file um, title as string um, me dot text equals title but the most important thing here is the protected overrides we're going to make overrides on size change it I'm going to let it since it's size size first um, so now I'm going to type if um, me dot window state equals minimized else so if it's minimized you want it to be visible false else you want it to be visible true okay that was the most important thing so now we are going to rebuild the project you might need to save it first Um, build it. Okay, it's all good. So now I'm going to make it a MDI container. That's all already fixed. Make it a bit larger. And now, oh, we already had that event. When you click it, um, adds new form will probably give a error yes okay this will add a new form and then i plus equals one so now we can do um, task form then um, form as new task form the title will be um, string dot format my form um, something like this i to string 
Okay, that's the form. Now we want to get the image for to use in the, in the DOS bar item. Dim image as image equals new um, um, cost type new image converter dot convert from form dot icon. We want to convert it to a image, so that will be the image. So now let's see what we can do here. Dim taskbar item as new taskbar item. The text will be um, form dot text. The image and then the form. And now we can just simply do taskbar dot add. Um, items dot add db item. Oh, we forgot one more thing. Form. Uh, I'm going to put it here. Form dot mdi parent equals me. And then after this, we can just put form dot show. So let's test it out. So we got a form, we can click start applications test and nothing happens. Oh, <laughs> ah, I forgot it again. So what we want to do here is type, well I was going to um, put a new in here but I'm not going to do that. Oh yes, here you must type close and then here you must type restore. So that's everything I guess. So if we run it now it should work. Okay, so we can see my form zero shows up in here, minimizes, but uh, I forgot one more thing, and that's here. You want to do me dot drop down items dot add close item me dot drop down items dot add um, add restore item so if we run it one more time it should all work now so start test the form minimize it will go away restore will put it back close will close everything So my form one. Let's see if it remembers positions. Minimize them all. Going to open form two at first. Three, one. Going to close that one. So it all works pretty good now. So I hope you you understand now how to make a very simple taskbar for your own operating system. So so that was it. Um, there's one more thing that will be um, a bit harder. And that will be when you close a form using its close button. But then you just have to go through um, each item in the taskbar and just check if it's the same name as your form. 
if so um, remove that one from it um, that's not so hard so I hope you liked it and yes yeah